Right now I'm gonna give you a quick tour of the Spark video app. When you get into this app, you will initially log in with your school enterprise ID. And then once you're in, it works very similar to the other apps where you just press the plus sign down at the bottom to get started. The first thing it will do is it will ask you for a title. Once you have your title in, you just press next, and then you'll be presented with a number of different templates that you could use. Now you could start from scratch, but I would suggest that you go ahead and use a template because the template has a really nice built-in storyboard feature. So when you choose your template, they're all set up pretty much the same way. Down at the bottom, you'll see a series of slides that sort of give you an overview of what goes into the video or what could go into the video. At the top, you'll see different ideas for layout, theme, resizing, and music. For layout, you would just choose whichever layout you wanna have. So for themes, you can customize your theme, you pick your theme, um, you can change, for example, the color scheme if you wanna do that. Um, you could also resize it and make it a square, which is better probably for Facebook and Instagram mobile devices. Um, and then as you go, you'll also be able to add music from um, a, a library here. So I'm just going to go ahead and add music in and you can adjust the volume up at the top. Now um, to get started with my presentation, I just press the plus sign to add things. So here, if I was going to add a photo, I could choose a photo from my iPad, I could search for free photos, or I could connect something like Google Drive if I wanted to. So I'm just going to search for a free photo, and then I select the photo, and it goes right in, and it will kind of adjust to the, to the theme. If I wanted to add a title, I would just press the plus sign, select text. I could also sort of resize, reposition things on the page if I want to do that. And, um... The next thing I might do is add some like a voiceover and I just press and hold the microphone and it will record as long as I'm holding it. So I might just say sloths are great. That drops my recording in there. I've added three seconds to it and when I'm ready I just go on to my next slide. It will give me a little idea about what I should be typing or what I should be adding here. Here it says the concept. I can touch that light bulb and it goes away. Um, and I can preview everything by pressing play. And so when I'm happy with my production, I just press the little share at the top and I choose save to camera roll. And that's it for the overview.